Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking to use Mila Note to manage your interior design business, maybe you're only doing it as a hobby at this stage and you'd like to eventually move it towards a business, I've got you covered. I'm going to show you how to particularly use Mila Note in an interior design environment. I'm going to show you how to organize your stuff um, as well as stay inspired while you're doing all of this. So let's check it out. I want to just show you how easy it is to create a board. So on the left hand side, you can click down on board and drag it over. And here we are going to call this interior design. Now I'm going to create this from scratch. So what you can actually do here, when you click on it, you'll see on the left hand side, you can customize it. So of course, if you're a visual thinker, then this is fantastic. So, you know, we can make it whatever color we want. And then we can also change the icon over here. So, you know, if you want to make it whatever it is, you can go ahead and you can make it that icon. So that's what that looks like. And once you go in here, you can just double click. And when you open it up, you'll have the option to choose from a template. Now, um, on the right hand side, you'll see there's a few templates, but you can go ahead and click on more templates. And you can see here um, there are a few different templates so there's specifically for interior design product list product uh, project plan a mood board and then a design brief so you can go ahead and look at what these look like so once you click on it you can see that's what it looks like you click on the next one you can see that's what that looks like and uh, if you just zoom out you can have a proper look at it now of course choosing the right template is pretty important if you are going to be using a template you can see that uh, all of these designs are very different. So, you know, choosing the right one for the way you see things and the way you want to plan things is important. OK, so let's just, for example, if you are doing a single project, this would be fantastic. But if you've got a product list, um, this would be probably better. So let's go and click on use this template. Of course, you can start from blank, which means you can add in cards here all on your own without having to use a template. But the nice thing about a template is you can actually go in here and customize everything. So everything's been laid out for you, but you can add whatever you'd like. So over here, we've got furniture. So we can say kitchen furniture. Here we can say lounge furniture. And here we can say bedroom furniture. And of course, as I said, you can completely customize this. So you've got three cards currently in here. So you can add a task and um, there is a card for a URL. But then what you can do is just add things on your own here. So if you found this guide helpful, you can go ahead and drop us a like and we will see you in another video. Peace.